good morning in this presentation we are going to see how we can trade in mcx crude oil for this week before looking into that let us see what happened last week and what we expected last week uh, the chart which you are viewing is an one hour chart as we always know that on monday we uh, we go for the weekly predictions and we use one hour chart uh, and whenever i place a cursor on any kind of stick you can always see the date below for your reference uh. so this is the price opening so what how uh, because on the previous week let us go back and see what happened on the previous week on the previous week we were expecting the market to take some support uh, till 4900 to 4920 so we were targeting this zone and we had explained why we are targeting this zone and uh, till 87 dollars we expect uh, in nymex we expect the market uh, to stay in uptrend that was our expectation and also till this zone we were targeting last week and we were quite uh, good in sustaining the price zones because the price uh, tested this one and it bounced back uh. so uh, what happened on monday was that the price opened around 5000 just above 5000 which is above the previous we uh, that is on friday and saturday price uh, price closing and also after the price opening it is a just a spiked up opening which means that after the price opening it was trading above 5020 so which means that the price was trading just entirely above the average high of the previous week uh, which gives us a clear indication that the price can move higher but it couldn't stay above that a failure to sustain above this push the price down you can see the price came down and tested this low 4980 because it was providing some good support here and there you can see always uh, it was acting as an intermediate support so from that the market took the support and again it went uh, gave a bounce back and tested this 5020 here we should note that this 5020 is providing a very clear resistance for the market uh, so last week also it provided resistance this week also provided resistance uh, and the price closed near 4980 so still we expected the market to maintain its uptrend because it was holding above 4960 and uh, the next day the market just opened above that and you can see it straight away went and tested 5020 a failure to sustain above 5020 again pushed the market down so you can see how many times the market has failed uh, one two three four so many times the market has failed so that increased the selling selling pressure in crude market and it pushed the market uh, till 4920 within into this zone of uh, what we expect to be the major and potential buying zone so uh, the market entered into this zone the next day since the price has been tested uh, so the, since the price failed to break 5020 we want to make a few adjustments but still then the market didn't break 587 dollars uh, in the uh, in the nymax market that is in the international market uh, so even since we should uh, respect the price actions uh, whatever we may know that uh, uh, this 4900 is a very potential zone for giving a bounce back but uh, seeing the entire price action and how long the resistance was taking we expected uh, the market to stay in selling for the on wednesday till 4960 but it is always based upon the price action because we don't follow anything we just go with the price actions uh, so what happened is that the market really took the support around 4920 and it put something above 4960 which clearly indicates that again the market there is no doubt this is again going to be a very potential zone for buying in crude oil so this is how we we should make ourselves flexible with the price actions we go with a we don't go with a single plan to trade in a market we need to be flexible with what else the price is happening because seeing the price action we should alter our manage our plan accordingly so what really happened is that you can see the price patterns the market really took the support here and it pushed something above 4960 we had mentioned it very clearly 4960 is a very potential support because you can see that uh, on the previous week it was taking a clear support on 4960 but still then it is 5020 which is providing a good resistance uh, and you can see after the price opening initially the market gave a clear buying on the that is on second so after the price opening the market took the support around 4960 because it is a potential support and the market gave a bounce back just stayed above 5000 but again provided resistance and the market really entered into the key zone of 4900 to 4920 
and again it provided support and pushed the market to close just near 5000 4000 it really break this uh, 4960 actually it provided resistance and it was closing down so again the next friday was a real testing day because the market if the price is not staying above 4960 and if the price is going to break here it is going to be a free fall in crude oil but what happened was that the market took the support around 4920 you can see the market uh, after just testing this the market gave a clear bounce back and you can see it broke all the zones and stayed and closed above 5060 which is a uh, closing uh, two weeks above closing so that gives us a clear direction that the crude is uh, ready for another bull run so it can possibly move higher also so this is the way we analyze and pick the zones uh. so uh, we identified this only thing which made us confused uh, was uh, really we should accept if we have made any mistake we should accept that only thing we uh, which made us confused was that uh, this uh, big drop uh, and taking a clear resistance around 5020 anyhow we manage things around the zone uh, and we push it higher after that uh. so this is how uh, we need to be very flexible in uh, seeing the uh, the meaning of being flexible is that seeing the price action and uh, trading with the price actions uh, whatever the price is uh, saying that we should alter our plan accordingly so that we can uh, make use of all these uh, potential big gains uh, in crude market uh. So what we are expecting is that uh, for this week, uh, today we can expect the market to open somewhere around 5060. So this is a zone where we can expect the market to open and there is no doubt uh, <coughs> the crude can continue its uptrend. Uh, and the support and resistance, it is uh, not necessary for you to explain, it is very clear. Uh, so till 4960 you can go for buying and it is not we have increased our support zones uh, from 4920 because any failure below this will always push the price down so what we have now we have slowly increased to stop loss till 4960 you can go for a buying and the potential uh, uh, zones we have marked it very clearly and you can go back and see the price uh, this even 4980 is a very good intermediate support zone sir. and uh, we won't be saying that whenever you are going for an average try to book profit for the average lots uh, at regular time interval that can help you to minimize your prof uh, profit and uh, to minimize your loss and maximize your profit uh. so the target zones uh, you may know first the market should break this barrier 5120 so it is probably around 92 dollars we need uh, something uh, so this is 5120 should uh, the market should break it we can find some resistance around 5120 and uh, after breaking this or seeing the price actions around 5,920, we can go for a clear trading decision. So the trend is expected to be up in crude, uh, crude market. Let us see what's going to happen. And thanks for watching our videos and happy trading. Take care. Bye.